Okay, here's a little backstory into how I'm putting together this next song. And, um, you know, this is going to be a country banger. And it's going to have a little twang fest in there. And, you know, the, uh, the, you know, the key to the song is coming up with the idea, you know, and the idea of this song is about a guy who's always working. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like, okay, kind of what goes on in relationships uh, as a result. So uh, that's the idea of the song. And so it's a pretty simple idea. And so uh, this is kind of how I start putting it together. For me, Seems like every time I put together a song, it always winds up having kind of a funk rhythm to it. And the way I play guitar to a fault is always swing syncopated, advancing the beat. And you know, that's, that's really a flaw and a fault. And so I have to go through here and examine it and do things to straighten some of that out as I'm putting it together. But basically, this is this is kind of how I go about it. Uh, I use a, a digital instrument to put a beat on there. And 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 what I've done lately with this stuff is I'll just find a beat. Uh, that has a little swing to it. Um, looks like my speakers ain't ready to work yet. There you go. That beat is really simple and yet has a little dance rhythm to it. And so that's the key to all my stuff is I, I gotta have a dance rhythm to it. You know, it's, I call it eight sided wheel. And so, you know, it's like, I go, da -da 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 you know, like that. So, um, I put this together, you know, with just that, you know, beat on there. And then it's like, okay, you know, I, I put the song together um, one section at a time in the order that I'm going to do the song. So basically, I write and arrange the song in order. And of course, the reason I want to do it that way is so that I don't have to, you know, destroy parts of it if I if I decide to come up with a little bit different arrangement. So I do it that way so that it's like, okay, it's putting it together one piece at a time from the front to the, from the start to the finish. And of course, I don't know where it's gonna wind up going. I just kind of take it where it wants to go. Uh, the intro of this song is pretty simple. Um, four one six five which is just so popular these days or you know maybe it's a little bit passe this these days it's not necessarily the number one thing going on right now but it's a good place to start so this is kind of what that sounds like And uh, I've got a measure in front uh, of no sound at all so that I don't clip anything on the front end of it or if I decide to come in there with a little something before it all gets going, I got, I got the ability to do that. And I've got those uh, two run-throughs there on the 4165 as my intro. And there will be, at some point, an intro riff you know, and some, some sort of riff that's going to go kind of carry on throughout the whole song. 
you know, something to kind of get you going. So then the next phase comes up. This song starts, uh, uh, the verse is going to be starting with um, an E chord. And so the key is an A. So it's a, the one is an A. So I guess the uh, it's a five is a is an E. So the verse is going to be starting off with a five, which for me is a little bit different. I hadn't done it that way before. So you sing the verse in the five, and then it's like okay, when the chorus comes back around, you land on the one, and so that makes the that makes the chorus and the hook and everything else a little bit more powerful because the one is the answer to the whole equation. So this is kind of what the verse sounds like. section there where it goes to a D and a D flat, uh, an a, a over a D flat. Uh, that section there is what I call a verse separator, okay? So I've hit the first two lines of the verse, and so then I'm not going to go right into the chorus, so I'm going to extend the verse like a verse two, but there's a little something in between it. You know, where there'll be a little maybe riffage and stuff like that. And that's that D, D flat, E part. So well, let's listen to that. Again. as far as I've gotten in the development of this arrangement is uh, intro, verse one, verse separator, verse two. And so now it's fixing to shake into the chorus and it's like, I got to figure out the arrangement for how that is going to go into the chorus. And at the same time, this song is a little complicated from the standpoint of it it tells a story of two different people. You know, and the assumption is that they're married. And, uh, you know, what's she doing and what's he doing? <laughs> That's the idea. And, uh, you know, this song's maybe going to piss a lot of people off. That's okay. Uh, but it's also going to ring so true with a lot of people. And that's the key to country music is ringing true. You know, and that's something that people can relate to. So now my key is in this particular section is to find a way to go from the verses that are going to be specifically talking about what she's doing. And then the chorus goes into what he's doing. And so it's going to it's going to take some creative lyrical things to get that whole idea tied together but that's the challenge and right now from a musical standpoint the challenge is to create a little uh, extender on the second part of the verse to um, transition into that chorus so to make this transition and kind of get that complete i kind of decided what i'm going to do with it um, i gotta first extend the uh, drums, you know, kind of get them going out. This is a good sign, too, because I'm getting into this one so much that I can't get the monitors loud enough. <laughs> so that's, that's always one a good thing. One thing I've decided to do on this one, which is kind of, you know, what I do a lot of times, um, I'm just going to give them a taste of the chorus. Just one time through. 
just one time through after these two verses, one time through the course and then right back into the verses.